Boom, boom, this is everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I got a little bit of Destiny chat up today. So we're going to talk a little bit about the forge and the forming of ignition cores. So the Hephaestus Forge is a new uh, game mechanic that Destiny Child came out with their update last night. Now, it's another way to, you know, give a little bit more power to your characters. Uh, it requires a 60 enhancement maximum limit broke, which is six dupes. So you're going to have a 60 to six um, before you're able to actually put a core uh, on a child. But let's talk about the creation. Creation is very simple. Um, defense cores, agility cores, crit cores, your basic amplify attack is the actual default. Um, don't ignore, you only need a five star child. It doesn't need to be any enhancements whatsoever. Okay, so make sure that you, you know, you don't use your new childs that you're going to be, that you're in work process of, you know, leveling up. Um, or, or limit breaking. Uh, just remember that it can just be a base child. Like uh, she's a dupe that I've got. I have not done anything to her. Um, it's going to create an amplified attack core. The selected child will disappear. We know that. Um, and she disappears. And we've created a core. So as you can see, it's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome picture. <laughs> so, okay, and bam, then here. Amplify attack ignition core. Uh, contains three types of stats, okay? Um, and then you can go to equip, and this will give you the childs that are eligible to have uh, an ignition core placed on them, okay? So it, it there has to be, as you see, 60. Well, they said it had to be 66, um, but apparently that's not the case because I've got childs in here that aren't 66 that are eligible for this. So I guess you can put it on... Uh, uh, select childs. I guess they just have to be a level enhancement of 60 um, uh, for the actual, but they said 66 in, in the actual um, uh, information, as I said. But I'm seeing childs in here that aren't 66 that can be uh, that it can be equipped on. Now, looking at my characters here uh, that are eligible for this, I would definitely, of course, want to put this on uh, Original Sin E because she is one of my highest attack characters. So this will be amplification, uh, attack, uh, amplified agility, and you equip it. Equipping this uh, will unlock the child's uh, uh, lip thoth. Now this is the this is the actual skill set. So as you can see now, she's level one, uh, amplified. Okay, unlock ignition uh, level up, amplified stat, uh, attack up, and you confirm it. Okay. Now when we go back and look at the child. You'll notice that she has the ignition here. So the ones that are eligible for ignition, all are eligible for ignition. Um, some have it, some don't. So, uh, but you can determine that from the uh, the um, uh, when you actually create it, or just look in here, and you'll see the ignition as being an option right here. So now you can see that this is unlocked. We now have different stats that we can go to, um, unlocking uh, different items. Okay. So it is possible to okay, and you can override these as you go. So this is what this is what you've got, okay? Um, it, it's you know it's not gonna you know it's not going to you know be a lot of uh, like huge massive jump in power, but it is going to give you uh, ampli amplified stats uh, that you can use. So and as you can see, you've got an entire tree um, uh, to get you know to get to twelve. Um, so you need a child, the ignition core, and the onyx. You can overwrite these at any time, depending on what you want to do. So, you know, the amplify attack, and then you've got Tohu. You've got these different stats, and uh, all these. This is just a straight attack, and so forth and so on. So as you, you know, as you progress through, it'll be a little bit. So you've got a whole tree on each child, which is nice. I mean, I, you know. It, it, I like this a lot better than the actual equipment enhancement. I didn't like the equipment enhancements primarily because of the fact that it was too hit or miss. Uh, I, I spent probably about I spent about 10 million, 15 million coins, uh, a bunch of uh, enhancement materials to get an S rank. Never did. Okay, I did a hundred. I did a hundred times. Never once got an S. Never even seen it. Okay, the percentage rate is so low and it's going to cost you so much money and so much materials that it's not a feasible option. 
because the buff that you get is not that much. This will be much, much more, um, uh, a, you know, much more of a value. So this is Eve. So as you can see, we've got an amplify uh, attack, um, uh, 150, and as you can see, we've got now she's went to red, so you'll be able to, you know, increase this up. So it's it's a pretty good setup, okay? So you know, 150 amplified attack. Uh, and considering, you know, so this would be allow you to min max. You can focus on just the charge that you want. Uh, I would focus first on your PvP. Focus on your PvP teams first. Um, check, you know, get your, pick your favorite PvP team, the team that you use the most, and see where you're lacking. You know, maybe you want to stick a defense um, core on, you know, on your healer, maybe to give so she doesn't die as often, or maybe you want to put a little bit of agility on her. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, maybe your tank. Uh, it, not being tanky enough, you can maybe stick some defense on that as well. You know, you get you got a high physical damage character. Um, put a crit on it. You know, so you know based you know based on what the character is and what its eligibility is. Um, Eve, uh, Eve, you know, she does poison damage, and she's uh, she's an extremely high powered attacker. As you can see, she's doing um, she's doing uh, almost eleven thousand. Um, so she's you know she's one of my biggest damage dealers so putting in a, as you can see she's got a little notification that you can see on the main screen indicating so you don't have to dig into the, in there to see um but yeah see as you can see this is the new format so let's widen it out so now as you can see from a main standpoint screen um how much it's changed the background has changed completely so you now have a picture of the the child with an actual, uh, you know, enhancement and ignition core on it, and you can see the background, you can see the little things. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like what they've done with it. Uh, it's a lot more involved. Uh, and then, you, then you can see, um, you know, amplified attack, um, and, and you can see, you can see the stats of everything. Uh, that, and of course, as I mentioned before, the red dot. So, and then ignition is down here at the bottom. If you're doing this from within the actual blow up. Uh, so you have it at the very bottom, okay? If you don't see that down there, they're not eligible for ignition, okay? Um, they 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 said that it needed to be a six sixty level sixty child uh, enhancement needed to be um, at level like she doesn't have it. Um, but what I'm noticing here is that okay, uh, she has it, uh, but this is a sixty sixty child doesn't have it, um, and I've got her fully awoken, as you can see, hundred percent. Uh, fully skilled up, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there, there appears to be some information uh, missing, uh, which is what I was saying in the previous video. I said that there was some stuff I didn't understand. Still not understanding it after I've done uh, quite a bit of research on it. Um, they, they say it has to be a 60 to 6 child, but I'm seeing 60 to 6 childs that are not, do not have the option, and I'm seeing level 60 childs that are not 60, that do have the option. So as for what exactly um, is up with that, I don't know. Uh, they just put this out last night. Maybe they've got some changes that they want to make to it. Um, so I created a core. So if we go into the actual mission here, I can claim the um, things. So you can create a station of cores, create as many cores as you can. And like I say, you will be able to get the materials for core creation uh, from uh, Mona's emergency support. Right here is the um, core materials. Uh, for the you know your, for your attacks, your defense, um, uh, your crits, and your agility. So that, that that's everything right here. So I did that in a previous video. So you're going to plus you're going to get a bunch of core material when you log on, just as a, um, a log on event um, uh, uh, present. So you will get some from there. Uh, as you can see, I already have some core material. Um, so but I got that from the event, and I got that from bonus emergency support today. So okay, so that's just it on the core. Uh, could change briefly, um, but you know we'll have to see. But yeah, the information uh, that, that said from uh, you know Mo from uh, said that it was sixty um, level sixty uh, six limit breaks for them to be eligible for ignition. Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing childs that should be eligible for ignition. Uh, there are sixty six fully woken, fully skilled that aren't, and then childs that aren't sixty that are sixty but not fully limit broke to six plus six to be eligible as well. So 
a little bit of misinformation there, but hey, <laughs> go for it, uh, especially if one of the jobs that you want um, it is uh, that you're working on for your PVT, it does add the ignition option. Uh, it's possible they'll be coming out more in the future, but for right now, that's what it is. So uh, that's it, just an example of what it looks like, uh, and it's a pretty cool, a pretty cool mechanic. I do like it. I think it'll be a, a good way to, you know, before we just had the 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 the, the spa, and now we have this. So I think that's going to work pretty good, uh, and it's a good way to uh, focus, and you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Uh, and when, and as for the weapon enhancement, uh, did find that to be very useful at all. All right. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, once you've subscribed, you'll see a bell. Click on the bell, and you'll be notified each time I drop a video. So this is Kendra Coverage of the Corner, signing out.